In this video, I will cover my 14 sources of income as a software engineer, content creator, agent, and SaaS founder, and just an entrepreneur. I know this sounds like a lot, and quite frankly, it is. But in this video, I will show you exactly how you can build these exact same sources as well. This is full financial transparency. So my software engineer total compensation can be broken down into three separate sources of income, my salary, bonuses, as well as investments slash 401k. So let's talk about the salary first, since this is the you know field that everyone wants to know about. So starting things off, I'm a software engineer in New York City. So this is very important because it will let you guys know that my salary is inflated. New York City is obviously one of the most expensive cities in the United States. So anyone who works here, your salary will automatically be inflated compared to if you work at the same company in a different state like Virginia or Maryland. And by the way, on top of New York having a high cost of living, the tax after Absolutely sucks. We have to pay city tax and state tax. Like, come on. <sighs> What can you do, man? I get paid $140,000 per year as a software engineer, and every one year, my salary does increase by three to 4% to account for inflation. So the next year, it'll probably be something like $145,000. And of course, this is considering I don't get promoted. If you get promoted, your salary can jump up anywhere from fifteen dollars to $30,000 within that promotion. The next part of my software engineer total compensation package are stock investments. Now, as a software engineer, you make a lot of money from the stock that company can give you like if you look at levels of fyi you see these crazy total compensation packages from google engineers netflix engineers amazon engineers a lot of the money they're making is stocks and the way it works is the more years you spend at a company the more stock you get vested so you might get 100k in stock from when you first start at a company like amazon or google but they won't that stock won't actually hit your account until you work maybe two or three years in this is a great method companies use to make sure their employees don't leave and quit and just you know pursue the bag right a lot of times software engineers might leave a company after one or two years so they can get a salary spike increase your salary very quickly by you know jumping to another company now unfortunately my company gives me no stock options i literally get zero dollars in stock for my software engineering company which is a fintech company uh which absolutely sucks like i see these google engineers getting like a hundred thousand dollars in stock and i'm like come on man I get nothing. Like the only thing I get is I get a 6% match on my 401k. So whatever part of my salary that I put into my 401k, my company will match 6%, which is free money. I'm not gonna lie, it is like basically free money. But at the same time, I rather prefer a crazy stock compensation package than uh, a 6% match. But I'm so grateful, you know, money is money. The next part of my compensation package is bonuses. Now my company gives a very fat bonus. Now, when I first joined the company, I got a 27000 dollar sign on bonus which is pretty incredible i mean that is a lot of money right obviously that's pre-tax after tax i think it was about sixteen thousand five hundred dollars yeah i know bonuses get taxed insane amounts but it's still a good amount and if you're a google engineer or a netflix engineer you're probably looking at me like that's chunk change it's true you guys are getting like fifty thousand dollar sign-ons and that's what's possible as a software engineer like if you work at a bigger tech company like i work at a pretty big fintech company but if you work at like a google at amazon netflix a citadel like a, you know like any quant firm your your sign-on bonus can be anywhere from like fifty to two hundred thousand dollars i'm serious citadel literally pays two hundred thousand dollars on sign-on bonus other bonuses that i get are an end of the year bonus as well as performance bonus so let's say my salary might increase based on uh, how well i do that's a performance bonus bonus this can be like two to three thousand dollars and then the end of the year bonus is also up to my manager's discretion he or she picks okay how well did Ritesh do this past year if he did okay I get three thousand five hundred if I did really good I get a max of seven thousand dollars so it's enough to pay like one month of New York City rent cool Okay, so that covers my software engineer package, but now let's go over the other sources of income I have. So starting off, let's talk about crypto. I am a crypto investor. Call me what you want. I'm a big believer in Dogecoin. I strongly think that this coin will be just used way more, especially with the way the government is. So I do have about $10,000 in uh, crypto investments with like 90% of my portfolio being on Dogecoin. I'm also in other cryptos like uh, Ripple and Shiba Inu, you know, those small coins that don't have huge market caps. And I'm just waiting to to see what happens. My next investment is in an AI startup that I generally believe is going to change the way learning works. In fact, right now, this company is already nearing a million dollars in revenue per year. It's called Vega AI. This AI startup helps educators and coaches create entire learning ecosystems for their students. In fact, my mentorship program, which I will cover later and how that makes me, I use Vega AI to host my modules and teach my students. Like imagine taking a video like this and you put it into an AI tool like Vega AI and it creates notes, flashcards, quizzes, a chatbot 
train on a specific module and basically turn this small video into an entire learning experience. And while I do not earn any income yet, eventually when this company goes public or gets acquired, I will be getting a pretty big payday. So now we're going to move on to my SaaS slash AI agents that I've been building for the past two to three years, as well as growing. We are going to go low to high and income so starting off insta dm insta dm is my mass instagram messaging web agent that is able to send a ton of messages on instagram to various profiles all in an automated fashion this isn't micro SaaS. i'm not earning too much money off of it at some points i was earning a lot at some points i was earning barely anything in fact i think i was losing money but right now it sits at about like $600 uh, a month in profit for myself. And I, I have a developer team that, you know, is developing everything uh, after I've started the initial development. Now to carry on things, they're handling it. I'm doing some of the marketing, which I'm also now delegating. So it's very hands off. You know, this was my first ever SaaS, traditional SaaS that I built. And it was a cool learning experience. I learned a lot through this. And I highly recommend if you're watching this to start your own SaaS. It's easier than ever with AI tools. So go ahead and do it. My second SaaS is more of an AI agent that I built and it helps workers book shifts. So imagine you're a worker and you are not at your laptop and your company is dropping new shifts that you can book but because you're not your laptop or you're you know away somewhere you aren't able to get that shift i developed an agent that's able to book the shifts for the workers i created a whole youtube video on it right here it's earned over seventy thousand dollars in revenue thus far and i'm currently going through a pretty big acquisition for it yes this software i am selling to another company to fully get acquired and the payout is about 200 grand yeah it's pretty insane but as of right now i profit about eight thousand dollars a month from it so whether it gets acquired or not i'm still earning monthly profit my next software is pin drop stories now i created this tool based off of a reddit comment and again i created a whole youtube video on this as well pretty cool right while i wasn't making that much money i did get acquired by the same guy who asked and created in the first place so that's a nice little you know way to make a lot of money but the acquisition was small it wasn't anything like six figures it was under 20 grand in uh profit that i took away from it so you know um it was something but it wasn't you know anything crazy okay well my SaaS is done now we move on to a service-based business that i run which is slight slight is a software development agency that i've been growing for the past like two years now this agency i've created multiple agents for multiple clients through our service i think over 200 plus clients across 50 plus industries it's been a whole journey from web apps to ai agents to SaaS to just personal programs i've covered everything and now i have a development team under me as well a lot of them are just my mentees from a mentorship program and putting them you know, getting some more opportunities and letting them make money as well, right? Through my software development agency by giving them these client projects. Um, and yeah, it's a win-win for everyone. Right now, I can make anywhere from like two to $3,000 a month from it, sometimes more. It really depends on what projects are coming from it. So now with the software side covered, we are moving on to the content creation space. As you guys know, I'm a content creator. I have about 23,000 followers on Instagram and nearly 30,000 followers on YouTube. So please subscribe if you have not already so we can hit that 30K mark. I'll be so, so grateful. So one of the main ways any YouTuber can make money through YouTube is AdSense, right? YouTube AdSense, mine at least personally, is not the best. Honestly, I don't get a lot of views for my videos. You know, I hope the YouTube algorithm sees this and gives you more views, but because of the amount of views I get, I only make about 500 700 dollars on a good month from youtube adsense yeah i know i'm mr brokey over here but while adsense doesn't give me too much income as of right now maybe things might change if i get more views on my videos i do make a good amount of income through sponsorships now sponsorships this is probably the biggest breadwinner for any content creator is when brands will reach out to you and say hey we will pay you x amount if you talk about us in your video this video has no sponsors so don't expect a sponsor integration but if a video of mine does have a sponsor you can expect that i got paid anywhere from a $1,500 to $5,000 to talk about this sponsor. Yeah, I know it's a crazy amount of money. In fact, it's more than my bi-weekly paycheck that I get from a multi-billion dollar fintech company. Isn't that insane? Like the amount of money you can make as a creator, especially in 2025, is absolutely absurd. And it's easier than ever to become one. In fact, I'm working on an automation tool right now that will allow you to create faceless YouTube shorts on autopilot. So if you want to check that out, check the link in the description below for early access. Now, the last part of the traditional YouTuber income is affiliates. Affiliates are just links you put in the description where if someone buys a product through your link, you get some small kickback. Right now, I barely have any affiliates in my description just because I'm not a big affiliate 
affiliate guy, to be honest, I never have been, but one affiliate that I am really happy to be partnered with is Scrimba. Scrimba is a really cool coding platform slash place where you can learn JavaScript, Python, various coding languages. I have a Scrimba link in my description below. So you want to check that out, go ahead. I will get a small kickback, uh, nothing crazy. So far, I think I made about like $150 off of my referral commission. All right, so now we move on to digital services. This is where things get absolutely crazy. And you're going to be like, holy, I currently run an AI mentorship program where I have taught 70 plus engineers from Google, Amazon, startups, new grad engineers, college students, etc. I've taught them all how to build and sell their own AI web and request agents. In other words, I've taught them how to build and sell automation tools. As of June 2025, my students have made over $220,000 in profits across the board, which is absolutely insane. Like it just goes to show, yes, I may have made about 400 grand through building agents in the past six years, but now in the past one year's mentorship program, students have made over $220,000 across the board. Like that's that's a crazy number. And I'm pretty sure this is one of the fastest growing mentorship programs that currently exists. I mean, I've had students build $5,000 travel automation agents, $5,000 ticket repricing agents, $10,000 invoice handling automations, a $2,000 month dental AI system, and so much more. By spending my time one-on-one -on -one with each mentee helping them earn a ton of money, I am able to charge them a certain amount and they are more than happy to pay that amount. Conservatively speaking, right now, my mentorship makes me about $22,000 a month in profit. This is my biggest breadwinner as of right now. And I think it's a testament to the fact that I am a pretty great teacher. I mean, I've helped my students earn a lot of money as well as the fact that I am building AI agents actively. So I practice what I preach. And lastly, the automation market is huge. Corporate companies, small businesses, individuals are all behind when it comes to automation and automating their processes, their life, and just automating anything possible. So if you're someone who can automate web, AI, and requests, you are someone who can leverage these skills to make a lot of money. That's why my students have made so much. If you want to join the mentorship program, click the link in the description below. Now, my last income source is my web agent course. It used to be about $400, but I recently made it free. So while I did make $5,000 through it in his lifespan, I make $0 now. To attain these same income sources, all you have to do is spend one hour a day either learning how to code or creating content. By leveraging these two high value skills, you can build this entire income list yourself. If you want to see me build an AI agent, watch this video next.